There are certain things in life people don't want to give up, like the joy of dining out with friends or the convenience of fast food. Well, I say you don't have to give those things up. You just have to be smart about it. And here are some ideas. When we first talked about doing a segment for Christian Lifestyle Magazine on how to eat healthfully in restaurants, they asked me which restaurant I'd like to use. And when I told them, they were really surprised. You see, this is not the kind of restaurant one normally thinks of when they want to eat a vegetarian diet. But just between you and me, I like to eat in places like this, and let me show you why. I'd like to have baked potato, no butter, no sour cream. I want steamed vegetables. Again, hold the butter, right pilaf, and I'd like the salad bar. Now, does the soup come with the salad bar? Yes. As a matter of fact, the pasta bar and the bar come with the entire fresh food salad bar. Now, wasn't that easy? This is one of my favorite salad bars. I can just go crazy here. Start out with a little green salad, maybe add a couple of extra tomatoes. You can uh, use some green pepper here. Now, you got to be a little careful with the potato salad and some of the other salads because they're loaded with mayonnaise and oil. I like to add a few extra peas, uh, some wax beans, you yeah? know? like wax beans a lot. And some kidney beans and a little bit of corn, and we'll top it off with a few sprouts. And just for a little bit of extra flavor, we'll just sprinkle a little bit of this on. Now let's go see what's on the other side. Now you notice we're going to pass this, which is full of a mayonnaise-type dressing, and of course pass the eggs up. And this salad doesn't look like it's so full of oil, so let's try a little bit here. And we'll pass the cottage cheese and the eggs and all oh, little trees. Love little trees. And maybe a couple onions. And a few more green beans here. Now, I just I have to give up because my plate's full. And look what we have here, a vegetarian minestrone soup. Boy, was I happy to find out that they have noodles made without eggs here. And take a look at this marinara sauce. This is rich, red, delicious marinara sauce. I mean, how could you ask for anything tastier than this? Okay, maybe I did order a little too much. But you know, even if I ate all this, it's not going to do me any harm. If you're not a vegetarian, I'd like you to try eating like one for just one evening. I guarantee you're going to feel better. I'd like to thank Sizzler for the cooperation in this segment. And I'd like to thank all restaurants out there that serve healthy alternatives. Now, if you'll excuse me for a minute, i got to get down to some serious eating. People are always telling me their lives are so busy they don't have time to eat right. But I believe you can eat healthfully even in a fast food restaurant. And today I'm going to show you how. Burger King's new slogan is sometimes you got to break the rules. Let's go in and break a few. I'd like to have a Whopper. Now, you say I can have it my way, right? All right, I want a veggie Whopper, and that means no meat. Okay, I'd like to have lettuce, tomatoes, onions, pickles, a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of mustard, and no mayonnaise. And I'd also like to have one of your garden salads with your low-calorie dressing. You remember the Wendy's slogan, where's the beef? Well, who cares when you can eat like I do? Hi, I'd like to have a baked potato with broccoli, but no cheese. And um, I'd like to have the salad bar with lemon wedges. And how about a glass of water? At the salad bar, choose low-fat items. Mushrooms. And carrots with lots of vitamins and minerals, some cauliflower, a little bit of broccoli, adds an interesting green color, some sprouts, 
few onions. I really love onions. Adds an interesting flavor. And we put a few of these peas on the side. Now, don't ruin this delicious salad by dumping oil all over it. Pass right by these oily items right down to the vinegar and top with vinegar. Or you could use a lemon wedge. You'll have no trouble finding a delicious and healthy meal at Wendy's with a baked potato and a delicious salad. Yes, I'd like to have a baked potato and salsa and also a glass of water. Can you please drive forward? Yeah, I know. Another baked potato. But at least I had something healthy to order. Good times, great taste, and good health at McDonald's. Let me show you how. I'd like to have a garden salad, but I want you to leave off all the cheese and the eggs. And I'd also like to have the light vinaigrette dressing. The garden salad contains 112 calories and 107 milligrams of cholesterol. I eliminated the eggs and cheese. You reduce the calories to less than 50, and you eliminate all the cholesterol. After all, your health deserves a break today. It's been a long day. Now let's see what we've learned. You could order a cheeseburger at more than 500 calories more than 100 milligrams of cholesterol. Or you could order a salad, a potato, or a sandwich with very few calories and absolutely no cholesterol. The choice is yours, and I know you're not too busy to make the right one. Now I've got to take these items home to my wife. It was a nightmare, like something from the Twilight Zone. I was out of control, a man possessed. I would do anything to get what I wanted, and then, there it was. Pete. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. How could I, John McDougal, the spouser of the low-fat diet and all-around health nut, eat oil ranch pizza? What if someone saw me? How could I face the humiliation? What a man's got to do. What a man's got to do. And what would you like? I want a medium combination. Pete. Everything on that? I want no pepperoni, no salami, no sausage, and no brown beef. Anything else? Yes, I want no cheese. What? No cheese. No cheese? Darling, we got another weirdo out here. Then mercifully, I woke up. And the next day, I'd like to have a medium vegetarian pizza, no cheese. No problem. While I waited, I asked the manager why people eat cheese with pizza. Some people have allergic problems to the cheese, and the other reason is for the fat and the cholesterol that's contained in the cheese. It's just another type of way to make a pizza. We've made them so many different ways, it's just another different way. Thank you. By passing up the cheese, I've eliminated 700 calories and 200 milligrams of cholesterol, but not a bit of good taste. Believe me, this pizza is a dream come true.